uh, first road course race at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in 2022. That is the last time that Colton Herta has been to victory lane. He has been a master on the restart so far today as they set up for turn number 10, come off of turn 11, and they'll look for the green flag in the hand of the starter. There it is, and Kyle Kirkwood does not let him get away. Meanwhile, Scott McLaughlin is working on Scott Dixon. That is the battle for the third position. Joseph Newgarden widened the elbows with David Malukas behind him as the leader set sail for turn three. Each time in this race that the pole center, Cole Herta has been, Colton Herta has been challenged. He has answered correctly, and it looks like right now he's going to do so again. He has about a half a car length advantage over Kyle Kirkwood. Dixon tried to go inside of Kirkwood through turn three. Not able to do it. McLaughlin running fourth. And meanwhile, McLaughlin under a challenge from Will Power a little bit further back and making a pass to David Lucas. The low side is now stopped at the outside of turn number five is Scott McLaughlin. Looks like some debris flying, and McLaughlin got offline and hits the outside wall just beyond the tire barrier at turn five. We said that it's a place where it could be unforgiving. Full course caution, and Scott McLaughlin running fourth was trying to challenge for third, and he's now stopped at the Gallagher Chevrolet here on the streets of Toronto. And, Davey, I just got a glimpse of that as it was unfolding, yeah. and it looked like Will Power was a little aggressive through that point of the course, too. Yeah, he sure was. No contact there. Didn't really see what happened there. Obviously, I think that McLaughlin was trying to get by Dixon right there. And that curbing, if you hit that curbing, oh, it looks like maybe... New Garden. Yeah, that's New Garden with some damage on his car, too. Don't know if he was involved in that same accident or not, but boy... Not what they wanted with just nine laps to go. Eight laps to go, actually. And Joseph Newgarden with a flat left rear, and he's going to have to limp that car around. He's uh, currently holding up the pack behind him, and uh, that uh, looks in the area around Letus Lundquist. Uh, Lundquist. He's currently running in the eighth position. Okay, Davey, here's the replay. Yeah, here we go. McLaughlin going up that hill through turn four right behind Scott Dixon. Wants to make a move. Oh, yeah, gets in. That was, uh, was that Will Power? That was Will Power. Yeah, Will Power. You said he was aggressive, and you nailed it. He was aggressive. He actually talked out into the side of McLaughlin, pushing him to the outside of that turn five wall and putting him out for the day. Now you'll see it from Power's perspective, Davey. Yeah, well, right there, I think that what happened is Power definitely got underneath him, but I don't think he went far enough, wasn't far enough up on him for McLaughlin to know that he was there yet. That is a tough, tough place to make a pass, as you have seen over the course of the weekend, uh, Alex Wolf. Yeah, and we talked about how sometimes stack-ups happen here in this Turn 5 area, and it looks like the issue for Joseph Newgarden is as he had exited Turn 5, that 90-degree left-hander in the shadows of BMO Field, as he had made the pass of David Malukas in the tragically hip Honda for Meyer Shank Racing. It looked like almost ramping up and over was Malukas, and I think that's what cut that right rear tire for Newgarden. It looks like a little bit of front wing damage maybe for Malukas in the 66 car, so Team Penske with two of their three cars with trouble in that turn. And, and Davey, there were a couple of other cars uh, that had to check up and got the front end off the ground. And a normally affable Scott McLaughlin is uh, more than a little incensed at what's happened uh, late in this race. Let's go to Pit Road, get an update on Joseph Newgarden. Yeah, as you said, it was a flat rear tire for the New Garden in the number two machine. Quick stop, 6.3 seconds, no fuel in the car. He'll be back out and on his way on greens. Uh, but boy, Davey, what a disastrous turn of events for P Team Penske. They were poised to have as many as three cars in the top ten. Yeah, we're going to see. With the, I'm sure the my, or here comes the team. Here comes McLaughlin out on the racetrack. He is going, oh, he's giving a clap for Will Power. You know, that clap wasn't, I mean, he is definitely mad at his teammate, giving him like a, uh, obviously, a sarcastic clap for what he did. What there. was that so Kyle Boyer was saying earlier about how well they all get along? Yeah, yeah that may have changed because he said all starts the drivers getting along really well, but this is not going to be a good conversation after this race for sure. In that yeah, place. that's that's going to be a team-wide conversation and a reminder, you know, I mean, let's face it. You know you've been in situations before. I remember the days when you used to battle with your teammate Scott yeah, Sharp, and yeah. uh, the old adage was, yes, we want you to win, but do be mindful of your teammate. Yeah, no, you, you have to and there's been and we've all been in those situations including myself with teammates the things didn't work out the way we had hoped 
and uh, you, you affect each other's race, and that's not a pleasant thing, especially for the car owner. So, as you said, that's got, not going to be a comfortable conversation in that uh, Pitsky Hauler after this race. Going to be interesting to see uh, what the outcome is in terms of, I, I know race control is looking at several replays, Davey, your opinion of exactly what happened, and if Will Power should uh, in some yeah. way, shape, or form be penalized. It's going to be interesting because I don't think he was definitely made the move to go up on him, but I don't think he was far enough up on him. We don't have spotters here. I don't think he was far enough up on him for McLaughlin to see him, so that's going to kind of be a judgment call, unfortunately. We'll have to see how it plays out. Nothing that I know. Of.